The Cap and Tassel drive-in ceremony is just around the corner and we know that you have all kinds of questions about what this unique event is going to look like. We've put together this handy how-to video so that you know exactly what you need to do when you arrive to graduate on June 19th. Don't forget that you are only permitted to bring one vehicle with you to the Cap and Tassel celebration. Any graduate who does arrive with more than one vehicle in their name will have the additional vehicles turned away at the entrance to the parking lot. This is in line with our public health orders and we want to make sure that everybody stays safe. When you do arrive at the school, please do so 15 minutes before your scheduled time to graduate. We'll ask that you please enter the north entrance of the parking lot, which is located off of Parsons Creek Drive. When you've arrived in the parking lot, you will meet a staff volunteer who will check off on the list that you've arrived. They will then direct you to the drive-in area where you will park your vehicle. Once you've entered the drive-in parking area, there will be parking lot attendants to help assign you to specific parking stalls. We are required to keep one empty parking stall between each vehicle and there is exactly enough parking spots for the 20 graduates who will be graduating every 45 minutes. Once you have parked your vehicle, we will ask that you please remain inside of the vehicle as there is no commingling allowed between the various family bubbles. When it is time for you to get ready to cross the celebration area, a parking lot attendant will come to your vehicle and queue you. This is the only time that you and your family members should be getting outside of the vehicle. Once you are outside of the vehicle, our parking lot attendants will direct you to the waiting area where you will get ready to be recognized as you cross the staging area. You will be crossing the staging area with one or two of the family members who you've brought to the ceremony. The other family members that have joined you will be shown to a designated standing area in front of the staging area so they have a perfect view of the ceremony. When you're in line and ready to graduate, make sure that you have all of the necessary materials. Your stole and your cap and tassel should be in your hand and you should be wearing your gown. As well, you could be holding the paper diploma if you wish to bring that too. Now here's the important part that you and your two family members need to make sure you understand. When your name is called by the MC, you will then walk across the red carpet. Once you've arrived at the X on the red carpet, this is where your two family members have to do their part. One family member will place the stole over your neck while you then put on your grad cap. It, uh, it is at this time that your other family member will flip your tassel to signify that you've graduated. Then all three of you or two of you, if you've just selected one family member to do this part, will pose for a professional photo. You have now successfully graduated and you will proceed down the other end of the red carpet as you make your way back to your vehicle. On your way back to your vehicle, you will be asked to place the green and gold stole in the appropriate drop-off bin as you are not permitted to keep these. You can, however, keep your cap, your tassel, and your gown. Once you are back in your vehicle, once again, please remain inside until our parking lot attendants give you the cue that it is safe to exit the parking lot. All vehicles will exit the parking lot through the south entrance onto Powder Drive. And that's the how-to video for the cap and tassel drive-in ceremony. Don't forget to check out our information sheet, which has all of the steps outlined in text, as well as a handy frequently asked questions guide. If you still have burning questions about what graduation will look like, please contact the office and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We cannot wait to see you on June 19th.